What is the difference between the Michigan State Dunks and the Vintage Green Dunks? And is it worth the $200 difference? Stay tuned to the very end to find out. First things first, let's talk about the price. The Vintage Green Dunks retail for $110 plus Uncle Sam, while the Michigan State Dunks retail for $100 plus Uncle Sam. And there's a reason why there's a $10 difference, but we'll get to that later on in the video. The resale value for the Vintage Green Dunks is going for $550 to $690, while the Michigan State Dunks is reselling around $390 to $440. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to lean more towards the Michigan State Dunks than the vintage green dunks but let's see how this old video plays out next up is the color the michigan state dunks features varsity green leather on the mud guard sock liner heels side overlays and outsole as well as the white leather on the toe box side panels midsole and tongue while the vintage green dunks feature the same white color blocking except for the midsole instead of a white midsole nike gave the dunk an aged midsole in order to hold up to the vintage name now just like the michigan state dunks the vintage green dunk features a varsity green color blocking but Unlike the Michigan State Dunks, the Vintage Green Dunks varsity color blocking is actually an aged version of it. So it's slightly darker. So I'm not too sure if that's still considered varsity green. That's probably a different type of green. I don't know what the color it is. I'm just calling it the aged varsity green. So if you know the actual name, just comment it down below, please. I'll pin it so I can be corrected, you know. <laughs> the Vintage Green Dunks also feature on the green color blocking cracked aged effect with a glossy finish as opposed to the Michigan State Dunks where it's just a solid color blocking with a matte finish. The Michigan State Dunks, trash. <laughs> Incredibly stiff, runs half size down. I have flat feet, so I've tried to wear these Dunks and I've even tried to wear like a half size up and it still was uncomfortable, it just didn't look right. I wasn't, I wasn't crazy about it. So for me personally, I don't think that the shoe is meant for flat footed people, but if you're as stubborn as I am and you just love the colorway and you just love the color blocking and everything else and you just love how you can put a fire fit together with it, then just take out the insole and just hope that it won't hurt your feet as much. Now, unlike the Michigan State Dunks, the Vintage Green Dunks features a softer quality leather on all the panels. Now, if we were to compare the leather quality between the Vintage Green Dunks and the Michigan State Dunks, I would have to say that the Vintage Green Dunks is by far way better. But if you were to compare the Vintage Green Dunk to another shoe within that same exact price range, like let's say the Varsity Red, you can get the Varsity Red Dunks that released in 2020 for $20 less. Personally, if the Vintage Green Dunks had the same exact leather quality like the Varsity Red Dunks and had a matte finish instead of a glossy finish, I would say that the Vintage Green Dunk is perfect and should be sneaker of the year, but that's not the case. If you're one of the lucky ones that can fit into the Vintage Green Dunks, I would recommend them over the Michigan State Dunks any day but if you prefer higher quality dunks in the same price range i would suggest to keep doing your research there are plenty of other dunks within that price range that have higher quality leather one of the best places to go check out is over at backdoor miami i'll leave the link to their instagram down below where they also do weekly raffles and also drop some crazy steals you could also pick up some fire chris merchandise over there or you can go check out chrisfield5.com use chris15 for your 15 percent off for your first purchase if you made it to the end of this video please comment down below what you prefer the vintage green dunk or the michigan state dunk. i'm going to be giving away some crep protect items as well as crisp items so all you gotta do is just comment down below and i'm gonna be picking out some lucky winners if you enjoyed this video go check out my other reviews as well as my restoration videos like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time take it easy fam peace ah, can't